What's up guys, today we're going back to the kombucha well and we're looking at suja kombucha mixed berries. Now, I've only tried one suja kombucha before and it was a peach variety I believe and it was actually pretty good. So, we're going to take a look at mixed berries only because I feel like it's going to be a little bit more on the sweeter side, it's probably going to be more appealing to a lot of people. Now, on the side it says making great kombucha is like making great anything. Start with the purpose and use only the best ingredients. For us, that means fermenting our exceptional cultures for months, blending in our organic juices, and boosting with powerful adaptogenic vineberry schizandra. That sounds like a wrapping way of saying Sandra, but anyway, this bottle brings you a silky balance of light, tart, red, and blue berries. Cheers to your long, beautiful life. It's organic, non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, no addict flavors or concentrates. Now, if we look on the side, it's 60 grams, or 60 calories per bottle, 14 grams of sugar, and ingredients, we have water, black tea, kombucha culture, raspberry puree, blueberry puree, cane sugar, schizandra berry powder, inactive balasis coalogens, uh, probiotic, lactobacillus ram ravenosus, Okay, so ingredient-wise, it's all looking kind of good. We have 6% juice in here. Let's crack this open. Let's see what we got going for us. Now, offhand, it smells actually really, really good. It smells very sweet, a little vinegariness I can scent. But let's take a couple sips. Let's see what it's all about. Alright, so offhand it's pretty good. Um, this kombucha has kind of a wateriness to it, which is fine. It's not overpowering at all. Um, it kind of reminds me a bit of hum kombucha, which is always lightly carbonated. Now this is good in the sense that the berry flavors are there. Maybe that's what's making it seem a little watery, because it's underpowering the vinegariness that I smell offhand, but it is refreshing. It goes down smooth, and I can definitely recommend this to all of you guys. Um, it's not really, it's not really, it's not really a flavor that people will be turned away from, because berries in itself are very good, very tasty, and just when blended together with this kombucha, they come together in a way that they just kind of mesh. Um, it makes a nice tasting drink that you wouldn't really think was kombucha after all, I believe. It, um, it works in a way that it's just really, really good, I would say. Um, the flavor in itself tastes almost like raspberry juice or like a blended like raspberry blueberry smoothie, which is cool, minus the thickness that a smoothie would naturally have. Um, and when combined with the probiotics that kombucha gives you, I don't really see how you could go wrong because you can't. Um, so with that being said, this is a kombucha I would recommend you guys try and check out. And leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what you think of it if you've had it. As always, thank you for watching guys. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'm going to go finish this. I'll catch you later. See you bye.